What if I told you that some of those silver dollars you collected as a kid or that grandpa passed on to you could be worth millions of dollars? Well, in today's video, we will be counting down the top 10 most valuable silver dollars. The prices on some of these are completely out of this world, so make sure to watch until the end of this video to find out if you have one of these or know someone that does. As an added bonus, this list also includes the most valuable coin ever sold, so make sure to pay close attention throughout the entire video for the big reveal. Before we get into it, don't forget to smash that like button. It really does help me out. Also, if you guys are interested in coins, currency, or any other type of valuable collectibles, make sure to subscribe to Currency World and hit that little bell notifications icon so that you guys are notified of any future videos. All right, guys, let's jump in. Kicking off this list at number 10, we have this 1795 silver dollar, which is often referred to as the Drape Bus Dollar. Although officially the design is said to have depicted Lady Liberty, it was modeled after real life person and Philadelphia socialite Anne William Bingham. Bingham was regarded as one of the most beautiful women of her time. She was also the daughter of Thomas William, the president of the First Bank of the United States. Her correspondence with Thomas Jefferson is believed to have inspired the creation of the United States Bill of Rights as she convinced Jefferson that the Constitution would not last and that a majority would trod on the rights of individual citizens. This is the second silver dollar design which replaced the original flowing hair liberty and this coin design for the silver dollar was used for eight years between 1795 to 1803. In 1795, only 42,738 of these coins were struck, making this a very low mintage coin. What makes this coin extra special is the mirror-like reflective surfaces that resemble later proof coins. Since the United States did not officially produce any proof coins this early on, this coin was designated SP66, with the SP meaning special or specimen strike. This particular coin sold in 2016 for an incredible $1,057,500. At number nine, we have a coin that should technically not exist. I am talking about this 1870 San Francisco Mint Seated Liberty Dollar. Interestingly enough, the official records of the U.S. Mint indicated that no Seated Liberty Silver Dollars were produced in San Francisco in 1870. Yet somehow and some way, 12 of these coins have surfaced over the years, although the exact number in existence is unknown. It is believed that these coins may have been produced as mementos to celebrate the opening of the San Francisco Mint in 1870. Most of the known examples of this coin are worn, so it is more than likely that a small run of these coins was released into circulation by mint workers. That should be exciting news for you guys as it is very possible that one of you out there might stumble upon one of these in an old attic collection. This one we see here, graded Mint State 62, sold for an incredible $1,092,500 back in 2003. It is the only known uncirculated example so if you guys happen to find a nicer one you've definitely just hit the jackpot at number eight we have another draped bust silver dollar this one from 1796 exhibiting the small date and small lettering die variety when these coins were minted the artisans at the mint would create the designs of the coin dies by hand so although official mint records indicated that 80,000 of these coins were produced in 1796 that number is likely a lot less this particular example graded mint state 65 sold in 2000 for a million a hundred seventy five thousand dollars Coming in at number seven, we have another coin that is not supposed to technically exist. I am talking about this 1866 Seated Liberty graded Proof 63. Now get this guys, in 1866, only 725 Proof Seated Liberty silver dollars were produced. All of these coins had the motto, In God We Trust, on a banner above the eagle on the reverse of the coin as you can see here. 
So how did this coin come into being, you might ask? Well, it is speculated that around 1870, mint workers used coin dies from the archive to create this coin for coin collector Robert Colton Davis. Only two no model examples of this coin are known to exist. Only one is in private hands as the other is in a museum. This one sold in 2005 for $1,207,500. If you guys happen to find one of these, regardless of of condition, run, don't walk to the nearest auction house or shoot me a comment down below. Flowing in at number six, we have this 1795 silver dollar. The front of this coin features the head of Lady Liberty with flowing hair, which is why this coin is referred to as a flowing hair Liberty dollar. The reverse of this coin features an eagle surrounded by a wreath. Mint records show that over 160,000 of these coins were minted in 1795, meaning that this coin is not particularly rare. What makes this coin stand out out is its condition as this is the finest known example and was graded mint state 66. Although the value of this coin has fluctuated quite a bit, it sold in 2005 for $1,265,000. Up next at number 5 we have this class 3 1804 draped bust silver dollar known as the Adams Carter specimen. Allow me to explain. Although these coins are dated 1804, none were actually created until 1834. Our current president's favorite president, Andrew Jackson, originally ordered the striking of these silver dollars to be used for diplomatic purposes as presentation pieces to foreign dignitaries. I am not sure whether this included Russian dignitaries, but then again, back then the Russians were still a monarchy and Jackson himself was a Democrat. The class one variety was created circa 1834. These all have lettered edges and a rust pit in the field just left of the top leaf of the olive branch on the reverse. Only one class two variety is known to exist and it has a plain edge. Class three examples were all made after 1857 but have lettered edges and the rust pit. This particular example known as the Adams Carter specimen is a class 3 variety. It sold in 2009 for a staggering $2,300,000. Breaking into the top four, we have a coin that sold very recently. It is the 1885 proof trade dollar. What makes this coin so special is its extreme rarity. There are only five known examples, but there could be others somewhere out there. The history surrounding these coins is even crazier because get this, the US Mint has no records of these coins ever being produced. So to this day, no one knows for sure when these coins were actually created. It took more than two decades after 1885 for coin collectors to even discover that these coins existed. It is speculated that these coins were actually minted in the early 1900s using old dyes being held in storage at the mint. All these factors came together to create the perfect storm in terms of value. Many of these coins have sold in the millions. This particular coin graded proof 66 sold for an unbelievable $3,960,000 at heritage auctions. As I mentioned before, there may be others out there, so be on the lookout for this one. Coming in at number three, we have yet another one of these special draped bust silver dollars. Here I am talking about this class one coin graded proof 68 known as the water child specimen. This particular coin was presented to the Sultan of Muscat by the United States in 1834. This coin last sold in 1999 for $4,140,000. In 2016, it was again put up at auction and bid up all the way to 10.8 million, but the coin did not meet the minimum reserve, otherwise it would have been number one on our list. 
Coming in at number two, we have this 1794 Flowing Hair Liberty Silver Dollar Graded Mint State 66 Plus. 1794 was the first year the United States ever produced silver dollars, even though the U.S. Mint technically started producing coins in 1792. Since these coins were so large and hard to strike, only about 1,758 of these silver dollars were ever produced, making them extremely rare. This particular example and such a high grade was likely saved as a memento by a mint worker. In 2015, it sold for an amazing $4,993,750. Okay guys, we did it. We've reached number one on our list with this silver dollar. I am talking about this 1794 flowing hair Liberty silver dollar with silver plug. As we previously discussed, 1794 was the first year the US Mint ever produced the silver dollar and only 1,758 of them were minted that first year. That fact alone makes this coin rare, but what makes this coin truly remarkable is its incredible condition. It is the only coin of this year to be graded SP66, meaning this coin was designated a specimen by PCGS as it exhibits proof-like qualities, meaning that it has mirror-like surfaces. It is also the highest graded coin from this year. This coin is believed to be one of the first, if not the first, silver dollar ever produced by the U.S. Mint. This coin was treated with special care since it does not appear Appear to have ever been in a bag or had contact with other coins, as is usual for coins of this age. It is also the only known plugged at the mint 1794 silver dollar. A plug means that the planchet the coin was struck on was filled in to obtain a very precise weight. All in all, this coin is essentially one of a kind and the price reflects that. This coin is not only the most valuable silver dollar, but the most valuable coin ever sold, period. In 2003, 13, this coin sold for an unheard of $10,016,875. Wow. So there you have it guys. Now that you know what silver dollars to look for, it's time to start looking. But before you start tearing up your house looking for that old coin collection grandma gave you, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and check out some of my other great coin videos where I show you coins worth big money to be on the lookout for. As always, let me know what cool coins you guys have been finding in the comment section down below. All right guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Oh,